are doing great and today we will just make a simple uh, coronavirus status tracker like this one and it will just in using this rapid api for the to get the data and it's gonna be pretty simple we will be using flask and python so let's get started so in this uh, project you will just use the flask and python and here you will just enter any country name like bhutan and you will get the live data for that country okay and it's gonna be the same numbers that you see in worldometer for coronavirus because the data source is the same so let's write the code for it and here i just made a new folder and let's just create a new file okay and we'll need uh, request okay as they have already mentioned it here if you want to do it with python and i think request is the most famous one so you will need this simple code for that okay so we can at first simply copy it and you will need the api key and for that uh, you will have to sign up okay so it's free completely free you don't have to pay anything or like that so just sign up and login you will see the api key here and just paste that api key as a string here okay and uh, for me i will import it from another file okay on api import api key okay you don't have to do that i will just do it for so that you don't copy my api key okay and i will need a file api no api dot file okay here i will have the key and i will paste the key later here okay okay i have put my api key in that file and let's just cut that and and uh, if we try to run this let's see what happened python 3 and uh, yeah that's right we don't we haven't installed that requests library so we'll have to install that and i'll put this all these commands in description or maybe in the github readme file okay so just check the description you will have all the instructions there okay so this is installed and now if we run it again see so this is the json data that we got from this api okay so it's pretty simple now we have to just now we'll just have to process this data okay and for that uh, let's create a main method and make a app from flask okay we will have to import flask also from flask import flask okay and let's run that app debug true so that we get all the logs in the console so we can debug our code okay if there is any problem or any issue so i think if we run it again and we'll gonna get 
an error of course module not found error because we don't it didn't install the flask yet so let's install flask pick 3 install flask so it is installed and here you can also mention the port number because maybe I have uh, the port 300 used for some other thing so let's just say 555 five, five. okay and what else we didn't okay we don't uh, have to print this thing here and let's create a let's create a route at app dot route and let's just make it a, a route and here we'll simply return whatever the response we get okay so that's it and now if we run this okay we have need a method here So let's return the response variable actually. Okay. So as you can see, it is uh, running already, and it as it saying that it is running on this port. And if we don't mention this port by default, I think it is going to run in port three thousand. Five thousand actually. Okay, so this is the default port, and if we mention any port here, so it's gonna use that one. Okay. Okay. So let's open this. Okay, so here if you will directly return the response, we'll have to return it as a string. Okay, so this is expecting a string, but it got some JSON object, must have got that JSON object that we got from that API. Okay, so for that, we can simply just convert it to text. So you see this is all the record that we got from that API but we are going to show it for only one country at a time because this is not very readable and so now you can just um, create anything you want from this data okay so for now let's say uh, if it's a root and JSON dot get and let's say okay we'll have to get this dictionary first okay so now we have the dictionary of country status okay statistics okay. so here we have every country name and let's say you want usa so
will have to rotate this is an array it, you can see that this starts from a square bracket so this is an array of all the countries so if i just show you all all data and let's say default this is the default value that we can pass to get method because let's say something goes wrong and this variable is not present so this will be the value of all data so we don't get any error when we iterate that all data follow okay so the this is a single country in all data and if i just print country and return so this is just to return to that web page okay you will see all good here because that's what we return and and then we printed all the countries in the folder right and here you see all the countries list is present so now in every country of json we have a variable country name and the actual name value of that country name so we'll get that country name country dot get country name okay and now if we just look it and you see all the country name is here okay this is the country name and let's say when someone visits that uh, root route uh, we will on will uh, show them the uh, data for india okay and then we'll just need a if get country name equal to india and now here return country okay so this is the data for india and this is right now in json format we'll have to uh, show it with a little bit of html so okay let's just create another route for let's say someone doesn't visit on to get data for any different country name so for that uh, we'll use a country country and get by country name okay and instead of india this must be equal to this country I think that's fine and we'll have to pass this variable to this method okay so if we visit the root route then also we got the India data of India and if we type India here we'll need capital I no we didn't get the data we wanted why is that data from china okay okay i think this variable and this variable name just 
contradictory so this value got replaced by this one so let's just use country name okay um if it is equal to country name then return country okay so this is india and then if we do china so this is china and if you want to let's say design a little bit so already this video is getting pretty long so i am just gonna copy it from my previous project so here you can just do it like this okay and the, here i have used country object so that's what we need here country object country object so that's good and let's just to lower case so that if even if we just uh, use capital letters or small letters it will work for both in both the cases okay and now we don't have country here we can just simply return response dot text in case anything goes wrong you will see that there and we can return this same here also and here okay and this is actually the country name and for this case we are showing data of india so this will be the country name right and we will need country object so in this in return statement you can pass html as a string right and it will just the browser will process it as a html so that's fine but this is not a very uh, good practice if you want to uh, send like actual html data as html files for that we'll have to use uh, templates and then that's that will be a different video if you want that you will have to comment that in the video so i will make a second part of it and we'll show how to see how to send the actual html file and therefore that will have need jinja 2 syntax and all that for now if we just want to show this line so this this is fine i think okay so if we just run it once again so you see this is what we got and if we visit the root and that's the in data of india so that's it for now and all the code and instruction will be available in the description or in the github repository i will put the github link in the description so that's it for now